And welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. No, you mean the retro version of the screening room. We're talking Air Jordan and Nintendo this week. <laughs> What's yeah. the deal, Russ? What do you got first? Well, uh, when is an inspirational sports movie not a sports movie? It's when it's the stirring Ben Affleck opus Air. Now, Matt Damon stars in this absorbing true story about the people from Nike who were the upset winners in the race to sign Michael Jordan to a basketball shoe endorsement contract. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree and disagree with you. Air is a compelling Our movie. It's also very interesting, but there is a huge but. This is you come up because it's a story about rich and privileged men once again making money off of black culture without paying tribute or acknowledging the very people that helped make them richer. Well, you know, Sean, it's, it's well written. It's skillfully acted and sharply directed. I agree. And I think Damon and Affleck team up once again for a solid alley-oop. Ooh, no, this is like a, 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 a brick shot because uh, I know what Ben Affleck was attempting to do. And yes, Viola Davis is Michael Jordan's mother single-handedly gives the movie levity. But is that but? Zero recognition for the culture? Uh, no. I'm going to give it four popcorn bags. Two out of five popcorn bags for air. you got to do better, guys. Come on, let's tell the complete story. Now, historically speaking, Hollywood can't seem to make good movies based on video games. But never. to quote Mario, a Mario brother never says can't, Luigi. <laughs> yeah, the Mario movie, the Mario Brothers movie is bombastic, silly, and full of energy, Russ. I mean, there are also more Easter eggs than the Easter Bunny has on Easter Eve. Good and point. that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, Animate, this animated comedy is, is zippy, it's beautifully produced, and often funny, and it's an adventure with a, a plot that cleverly incorporates elements of the game. Now, it jumps the video game movie genre up a couple of levels. Now, I, I gotta agree. I mean, it's driven by spectacular voice work provided by an A-list cast. Uh, the film also gets props for both being able to appeal to fans of the game mm -hmm. and just regular old viewers like you and I. I mean, that's not easy, but there's also this huge but. They succeed. Yeah, three popcorn bags for me. Yeah, I'm going four popcorn bags. This movie was a lot. It, it was really a lot. I wasn't expecting much, but it was a lot of fun. Now, the 11th annual Panic Fest Horror Film Festival returns April 13th through the 19th at the Screenland Armor Theater in Kansas City. Yeah, there is nothing more exciting than attending the film festival, and the Panic Fest may be one of the best in Kansas City, if not the best, and it features more than 40 feature films, shorts, and podcasts, plus live events. You can get more info at panicfest.com, and of course, you can get even more information at fox4kc.com, but check it out. It's at Screenland Armor, my favorite movie theater in town. And Renfield's one of those movies that is going to be at yeah, that's Fest. a big deal for Panic Fest. Yeah. That's a huge movie. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screening room. Go to our YouTube page, or you can also check us out at our Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page where we always are giving away free movies. It's all we do. We hook you up <laughs> every right. single time. That's it. Hey, do you guys like um, Renfield, by the way? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, You've I, seen it. I've seen it, but I, I can't. I'm, I'm sworn to secrecy okay, because right. of embargo rules. So Next week. Screenland armor, yeah. though. Here, here. But, I but agree. my fangs are showing if there's any indication. My awesome. fangs are out. <laughs> okay. Can't wait to hear about it then. <laughs> All right, rest the shot. Thanks.